Jamaica's team to the Commonwealth Games. I think she's here to prove it. Spring check last year has gone back to the United States. William Fear Technical has been representing Jamaica at the senior level for quite a few years now. Jodine Williams runs out of lane two. Which is also her the 200 meter specialist stepping down to the 100 meters trying to get on that 4 by one team. Natasha Morrison, a 1096 lady on her best day, runs out of lane three. Trains with Maurice Wilson, part of Sprint Tech, got into this final with her new purple hair. Trying to 15 her best year, trying to get back there. The pocket rocket needs very little or no introduction. She's the joint national record holder and a plethora of other titles. We call her Mummy Rocket now on her social media pages, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. She has declared herself Mummy Rocket running for Zion. She's going to deliver. That's the smile we're used to seeing. Sharika Jackson will start from lane 5. Perhaps most famous for bronze in the Olympics in the 400 meters, then bronze in the World Championships, also in the 400 meters. This year, we call it an off year. She's been experimenting with the 200 meters. Got a silver medal behind Shawnee Miller-Quivo of the Bahamas at the Commonwealth Games this year. And now in the 100 meter finals, Disqualified for fault starting last year, this lady, Johnny Smith in lane 6, is looking for redemption this time around. Fourth at the NCAA Championship, representing Auburn University, new minted PB1111, formerly of Wilma's High School for Girls, just like Shelly Fraser Price. This is the joint national record holder and Olympic champion, Elaine Thompson. 2016 by far her best year in track and field. Gold in the 100 meters at the Rio Olympics. Gold in the 200 meters at the Rio Olympics. Her PB 1070 would serve her very well right now. In lane 8, rounding off the lineup, it's little Brianna Williams. Ran a cracking 11-13 earlier this year in Jacksonville, Florida. That was in March. The world best ever for a 15-year-old breaking Marion Jones's record in the 100 meters. She has run 11-1-3 this year. She earned her spot in this final and I believe will acquit herself exceptionally well. This is the penultimate event on the track here this evening. The men's equivalent will pull the curtain down on day two of these championships. That's it, Thompson. 1093 this year. 1070. Her best. That's a joint national record alongside Shelley and Fraser Price. So, Spencer, tell us, does the fast starting Shelley and Fraser Price hold on or does the fast finishing Elaine Thompson catch her? Fraser Price looks like she's rounding back into form. 1152 to 1133 to 1110 to 1115 in the semifinals. That's her series of events since coming back to the track this year. Set. The set position now. And away they go. Fraser Price got a fantastic start. Natasha Morris is trying to come from behind. So to Elaine Thompson. Let's go, Fraser, Fraser Price from Thompson. Thompson now steps into top gear and goes away for the victory. In 11.04 seconds, Fraser Price may have held on for second. Elaine Thompson had to come from behind and she got the job done in 11.01 seconds. National champion Elaine Thompson, second place Shelly Ann Fraser Price. The Olympic champions clashed, and what a delivery! In third place, it would be a new big personal best for Sharika Jackson at 11 1 3. Well, let's look at it, Gillian Russell. Love. As usual, Shelly Ann Fraser Price gets a fantastic start here. I think she might have gotten up just a little bit into her running form too quickly. But um, you see her there really striding away. And then Elaine Thompson, very patient, not, not um, panicking at all. Reels are in just in the last 10 meters of the race. But Shelly Ann gets out really well. And I have to say how difficult it is coming back from motherhood. To, <laughs> no, I'm serious. I me. agree. I don't know how many uh, track and field athletes have successfully done so. So for her to come out here and run so well, and, um, you know, just a year after giving birth, it's, it's, it's fantastic to see this. And Elaine uh, knows that it's going to be even tougher next year. But congratulations to her this year. Um, champion continues on her fine meteoric uh, rise. And good to all of them. 